Greetings everyone and welcome back to Terraria, where today we'll be going back to the terrible fish that destroyed us last time. Let me quickly put on my Majuluminescence, where is it? Could use the extra speed, there we go. And also quickly empty out my inventory and we're heading straight to that uh, mushroom biome. I just need to get my buffs. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we should be able to get him this time. I kinda know what he does. I was also told that uh, you should not uh, be getting him out of the ocean biome because that pisses him off a bit more. So maybe that's why we had some difficulty there at the end. I guess I'll just try to stay near the ocean. Another thing I was told is that that magic uh, conch we got can actually be used to teleport me over to the ocean. That can definitely save me a lot of time. Some material, drop these off. And I think that should pretty much be it. Actually, these things. Okay, I keep the bait on me. Pocket mirror. And the shroomite and that stuff is going in the upper chest. I guess I want to check out what this thing does. The the shell we got before I throw it in the chest. Let's see, Kevin. I need your expertise. What is this thing used for? For a shell pile. Well, that, uh, that sure sounds great. Uh, anyway, so I actually need to throw these off. Did not work out well. Anyway, uh, drop these. Got my bait. Shroomerang and also get away from my inventory and there we go should be pretty much good so let's head down to the mushroom biome get that worm i think i'll get two just in case and then it's uh, straight to the beach or hopefully we'll first try the boss but uh, i guess we'll see he's uh, quite agile i mean i'm kind of torn between getting the I should also get my star in a bottle over to there. I'm a bit torn between using my Majuluminescence for the fight and the Circlet of Myths or whatever it was called. Uh, because the Majuluminescence does give me some more speed, so it should be easier to dodge him. Uh, but Ocean cooldown seems pretty good, as well as the region, so... I think the bracelet's still better. Okay, how is it called? Is it a band? It's a charm. Okay, it's okay. Anyway, so we're looking for worms. We get my summons out. So I don't have to manually fight anyone. I think that's all of them. Switch over to the net. And let's see if we have any worms around. Any worms? On. Now we are here, stop hiding. I just hope my orbs don't accidentally destroy them. Oh, come on. Oh, but, oh, I see a worm up there. Okay, okay, quickly. Quickly. Don't know how long it stays before it uh, burrows in the ground. Oh. oh my god, why is this sun here? Oh, there we go, okay. I got one of them. Now we just need one more. And I should be ready. Do we see any worms? I don't think I see any. Maybe if I just run out and run back in, we will regen some worms for us. Not too sure. Oh. I am getting some souls as a bonus. So. That's nice, I suppose. Don't know if I have any use for them, but still. That, that kind of looked like a worm, but... Oh, did I just catch a goldfish? Nice. Here's a material. I, wonder... I mean, probably can be cooked in something, I assume. Come on, get me some worms. I don't want to be here the whole day. In there. Seems like in this way either. 
I guess we might be out of worms. Which is unfortunate. Oh! There it is. Quickly. Get away from me. Give me the worm. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so, now. Head back home. Get myself that uh, magic conch. Now the question is where did I put it? see it here. No, not here either. Come on. It must be in one of these chests. I doubt I'd put it in deep storage. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, anything else I need? I got my consumables. All right, the starting bottle. I might as well do the battle while it's daytime. Make uh, things a bit easier to see. Where exactly is... There it is, okay. Give me this. Don't think I'll bother with the sunflower. So let's do this. And... Ow! Oh, it teleports me to the other ocean. Well. Maybe if I use it again? Ah, nice. Okay, perfect. Let's uh, get the star hanged on the platform and... I guess it's fishing time. Get my potions. I suppose I could use a water walking potion. So I can... If I fall in the water, does it like... Okay, it pretty solidly stops the fall. I still have not checked, by the way, uh, my world's corruption status. So you need to do that. Wait. Why is... There we go, okay. I was about to say, why is uh, the truffle worm not my equipped thing? Okay, let's get this. I slap him with the whip for some tag damage. And then blast. Let's go full on blast. Okay. Oh, careful. Okay, I do not want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's definitely him being angry. So let's not take him out of the... Beach biome I'm taking a bit too much damage. Exactly something I'd call ideal. This actually seems to kind of be working. Flying in circles like this. Oh, it has the tornadoes. Oh, right, the forgot flying fish. Because, of course, he has flying fish. Just be careful not to get hit by the bubbles because they hurt quite a bit. Lost a bit. Got some more flying fish. But damn it, I need to scratch my nose. <clears throat> this terrible. Oh, 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 no, 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 we just need to kill him. Those stupid tornadoes are really not making this easy. But I think we got him. There we go! Nice! Now let's uh, make sure I don't die to the fish. Which uh, I almost did. Okay. Get the health. We got a superior tsunami. Interesting. Now that was a nice boss, I suppose. Can I get anything else? I think that's it. Stay here so I can regen. And I did not actually equip my charm of mitts. Okay, so the superior tsunami is a bow. Shoots five arrows at a time. That sounds kind of good. I guess we got a new bow. Alright. Did I get anything else? I think that was it, right? I mean, I could fight him again, I suppose. He did almost die. Let me... Although, maybe it is because of the Magiluminescence that I was able to dodge him so well. I guess let's give it one try with the... Warding Charm of Mitz. See how that goes. I still have my potions up, so... Can't hurt to try another one. This random corrupted chunk here annoys me though. Right. Sure to dodge. There we go. 
Yeah, that's the water walking portion is actually. Oh, quite nice. Cool. Attack damage. Uh, let's try the new ball, I suppose. Oh, it, uh, that way it shoots five arrows. I was expecting it. Oh! Uh, oh, no, I want to switch to my whip, please. Okay, this is not going too well. Uh, I was expecting it to shoot like five arrows in a row, but I guess that's not what it does. Uh, this is getting a bit too dangerous for my taste. My potion is still off uh, quite a bit of cooldown. What is that? He was moving fast. Not to dodge through the water tornado. And some blasting. And I also need to go back to the beach biome. He has kind of surrounded me. Oh, there we go. The tornado dissipated in a pretty nice time for me. Okay, okay, nice, nice. My potion is back. And, oh. There we go, we got him again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, god damn it, really? What was that? A tornado underwater with a bunch of fish? Guess I walked straight into that. Matter. We can teleport back there. No problem. And collect our loot. Someone was uh, asking me if I'm planning on playing the expert mode of the game after I finish it in normal. And that's one of the main things that's uh, actually... What is happening? Oh, right, I reached the end of the one. One of the main things that's preventing me from trying it, although I might still, not too sure, is uh, the fact that I lose my items on death. That sounds quite annoying to deal with. I would be interested in more challenging bosses, like the second time around, but losing items on death doesn't sound very fun. Okay, so what did I get? We got uh, a trophy, that's cool I suppose, a mask, a razor blade typhoon, what is this? Casts of fast that's fast moving razor wheels. Okay. Oh, it's like foaming. Very nice. Okay, maybe I can use this. Though, is it better than my heat ray? Maybe against many mobs is better. It's better. Uh, because uh, the heat ray can shoot only one thing. Get my spheres out. I need to also get my books again. Okay, let me get my stuff and we can go back home. Although, do I want to maybe. Let's try some. First of all, before I get too annoyed, let me just cleanse this. There we go. So it's not annoying me. We have a nice, peaceful music. Then, uh, let me get my fishing rod out. And I want to do a little bit of... Uh, I also got coral. Nice. I want to do a little bit of fishing in the ocean. See what I can catch. Because we did it in the underground jungle last time. Got those summon... Oh, I got a crate. Guess we'll open that. Uh, but yeah, I want to see what... Different places... Uh, what kind of fish I can get from there. I also still need to fish in the honey. And I was also thinking about fishing in shimmer last time, so should try that as well. I guess I'll give it like maybe six or seven more casts in here. See what kind of fish I get. Then move on to the next spot. I got another crate, but I don't have space for it. Chester. That Chester is also full. I guess... Uh, Mm. This hole here should serve nicely. Okay, don't care about you. Okay, start giving me those banners. I think I care about them. Hungry Bones, Dark Caster, who cares? Okay, let me just uh, drop in like, the important stuff. Okay, that should be fine. 
pick up this crate. A mithril crate. Nice. Must be good. Okay, let's do five more casts and then we'll open the crates. Another tuna. I don't think I've gotten a special fish from here yet. Maybe I go until I get the special fish. And it's so nice having summons taking care of annoyances for you. Not just another tuna. Nothing too crazy. And okay. Come on. Okay, we got the second pearl crate. So maybe the crates are the special thing here? Not the fish. Oh, I think I missed that one. Okay, another crate. Very interesting. Maybe I should go back home. Oh no, but I need to fish in the shimmer. I was gonna say maybe I should open them at home so I have more space, but won't really work with it. Come on. Give me the special fish. I know there is one. Don't lie to me. There's gonna be some crazy fish that can give me a potion that uh, increases my summon damage or something. I don't know. Could be anything. Could be a potion that uh, makes me invisible, maybe. I don't know. Is there an invisible invisibility potion in this game? I don't really remember. I, I was looking through the potions uh, at, with Kevin, but don't really remember what kind of potions. Yeah, this is looking like... Uh... Yeah. Why is the corruption back, man? Come on. So annoying. Okay, so I guess there is no special fish here. Though. Let's uh, open these crates. So, start with uh, these ones. We got Swiftness Potion. That's nice. We got... What the hell is this? Equipable material, spiked step stool. Okay. Don't care about these. Apprentice bait. Oh, so we got more bait. Nice. What about this? Palladium. Uh, I think I'll throw that away, honestly. Demon eye, who cares? Now, for our grand prize, the Mithril Crate contains. Or the Calcum Bars. Well. I'm gonna be honest with you. Not too impressed with that, but uh, that's fine. Let me collect. What is this? Pirate, huh? Well, good thing I came back to collect things. Consumable! Oh, summons a pirate invasion. Well, isn't that nice? Maybe we can save that for next episode. I also got some tattered cloth. With these mummy pants. So tired of getting them. And this red husk. Okay, let's go down to the shimmer. See if we can get some cool fish there. And yeah, where is the entrance? There we go. I mean, I'm not too sure if I'll even be able to fish in it. Considering that uh, me jumping in makes me fall through the world. Not sure many fish could live in that. Although, oh, actually I want that. If, uh, if a fish lives in that, maybe the potion it gives me will allow me to become incorporeal or something. Maybe dodge some attacks. Let's not fall in it. And I don't think I have a special bait, so... Okay, well, fair enough, I suppose. Uh, we cannot... We cannot fish uh, in the shimmer. Alrighty then. Let's uh, head back home. Offload some of this garbage. And I will need to go down to cold storage. I want to check what I can do with this thing. The coral. Okay, seems like just a bunch of decorations. Capricorn helmet, a sonar potion. Detects hooked fish. What does that mean? Interesting. Okay. Uh, also, I want to check. Wait, shrimp. What is this? I can make cooked shrimp. Alright. Suppose that makes sense. Uh, the goldfish. I can make a bowl of soup. A fish statue. Oh, or a fish bowl. Oh, that sounds nice. Don't have my water bottles on me though. Uh, maybe we can make that in the future. How about this tool? It's used for 
Hand of Creation, well that sounds uh, ominous. Increase mining speed, increases block and wall placement. Okay, so this is like a building trinket. Interesting. Chisel, treasure, I think I have these three, I just don't have this uh, gizmo pack. Very interesting, okay, so I guess I'll keep this. This is a consumable, cannot craft anything from it. And I believe that's everything we got. So let's head down to cold storage. And drop off some of those uh, new items. Make some space. And then we're going uh, on another fishing journey. However, this time, I have something different in mind. I would like to keep my bait though. Thank you. I also need to go back and... Uh, Where did my... Oh, it's probably in Chester. I need to go back and uh, place my buffs over at the arena. Let me get some of this stuff. Out of Chester. I have some more space there. Uh, this thing. Runker potions can stay. These have no reason to be in Chester. Oh, right, the Titanium more. I completely forgot about that. Let me quickly... No! That's not what I wanted to do. I can drop off uh, of the unimportant stuff. Drop the Shroom Might. And the Mana Crystals. Uh, sure, go there. Now, as for this Titanium, I suppose I smelt it. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Titanium Bars. Let's make like 10 of these. Let's see what uh, we can use them for. Kevin, I need your assistance. Titanium bars. Okay, so we have a... Oh, is this like... No, I don't think it's the same as Uricalcum. Actually, maybe... Maybe it is like Uricalcum. We also have the titanium sword. And it's... Wait, it's used in these? How? Oh, I think it's an alternative to Adamantite. Okay, I see. Fair enough, fair enough. At least magic damage. Yeah, I don't think there is a summoner one, so... Not too interested in it, but... I guess at least we got some titanium. Probably not gonna use it for anything, but... Uh, it was cool to have it. We'll just uh, dump it out here. There we go. And dump the obsidian upstairs. On the potion chest. Or whenever I need more of those fire resistance potions. Let's go set up our buffs. And then uh, we're straight to the jungle so we can try fishing in some honey. Let's see what comes out of it. Because that sounds... Sounds kind of fun. Okay. Oh, I forgot to throw these out. It's not a material, is it? It's not. Okay, so we'll throw one of them out at least. There we go. Okay. Place down the campfire and the bus statue. There we go. It's, I got a bunch of hellstone from somewhere. That's interesting. All right, uh, let's uh, continue on. What could come out of? Oh, uh, the thing I was mentioning. I wanna go and talk to our fisherman and see what kind of quest he gives me, since we are doing fishing. Just the... Uh, uh, okay, right, he's a bit crazy. Uh, those droplings in the jungle are the most scary creatures I've, I've ever seen. Good thing is, sometimes they don't li don't have legs. Wait, droplings? Those ones live in the water. Derp fish. Uh, okay, man, whatever you say. We'll go and catch you a derp fish. I don't see a problem with it. We got enough bait. And, uh, because I'm kind of curious what kind of uh, reward I can get from him for catching his fish. Because he's talking about some sort of a sacrifice. I mean, it's, it's a little bit ominous, you know. But uh, so far he hasn't done anything crazy. Maybe if I give him fish, he'll do something crazy. I don't know. It's possible. Now it is uh, the jungle surface, right? So... Probably want to go a bit further in, so it is not uh, shallow. Okay, 
this is not hollow anymore. I just need a decent little body of water. And we have mushrooms here. And I think there is corruption on the right side of this, so. Oh, there we go, perfect. This will do the trick. So we'll get our fishing rod and let's catch a drop fish. What is this? Oh. Come on, drop fish. Come on. Guys, I don't think the drop fish is in the water. How is it not getting attracted by my amazing bait? Oh, we got a bus. Okay. Surely this time it's a drop fish though. It's uh, nothing. Okay, that's uh, that's worse than a drop fish, I gotta say. But uh, let's stay positive. I'm sure we can catch a drop fish, right? Like right now, maybe. Oh, I got it. Okay, nice. Okay. Another buzz though, and we got an old shoe, that's not even a fish, we're uh, getting colder, come on. Oh, I suppose the, the dripling is not a fish either, but... Okay, another bus, my luck is not looking great, come on. I don't need any more of those buses. We got a neon tetra, but I suppose it's not a bus, but still not what I'm looking for, come on. Come on, Dirt fish, another old shoe. Well, I guess I got a pair of them now. Probably won't wear them. My armor seems just a tiny bit better than an old shoe, but I'm sure uh, we can have some use for them. Come on. Get baited. You're a fish. That's your job. And another boss. Okay, this is starting to look uh, a bit depressing. Come on. I'm sure the drop fish is somewhere in there. You just need to believe in it. We need to channel our belief in catching the dirt fish. And we'll catch another bus. Okay. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I am in the jungle surface. So we should be catching a dirt fish. Maybe it's just rare. That's uh that's fine. Just have to be a little bit patient. And we caught a tin can. Okay. Well. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The witch doctor was uh, getting a little bit salted there. And okay, let's return back to our fishing. Now, surely that we've killed the derpling, that has attracted the attention of the derp fish. So, I'm about to catch it any second now. Just look. 3, 2, 1. Okay, uh, missed a little bit and it's a bus, but... Uh, you know, it's... Uh, it's a game of chance, uh, you cannot be too sure. So, we just have to wait for the next one, it's a, it's a miss. I'm not too sure what causes it to miss, maybe just... Sometimes the fish manages to escape. That's a seaweed, I got a little bit excited there because it was a new thing, but... It was not a fish, okay. Come on, I'm giving you five more attempts, then I'm going to the honey. Come on. Come to me. Come to me, fishy. We need to complete the quest. And any second now. Okay, maybe it's just taking a bit longer because the derp fish is like inspecting the hook, tasting the bait, making sure it's tasty. I got okay. I don't know why this crate was tasting the the bait, but uh, I suppose that's fine. We got crate. Another piece of seaweed. Okay, we have three more attempts before we move on to the honey. And surely one of those attempts. We will yield us a, a tin can, okay. Okay, two more. Surely you're the one. Come on. There are fish. I know you're there. Stop hiding from me. And the witch doctor seems to be safe. Come on. Eh, oh, come on. Okay, okay, it's the last one. It's, it's just... Uh, Wants to make a grand finale. It's it's the last uh, fish we're gonna catch from here. Oh, there is that annoying spider down there. And it's it's a tank. Okay, well, seems like my luck with jungle fishing is not great. Let's uh, head over to the honey. Let's see if my honey fishing luck is any better. Now, I think the best way to fish in honey should be right there. Let's go straight to that. 
And hopefully we catch some something good. Okay, well that looks a bit crazy, but uh, I suppose it can work. I wonder if we can fish in any liquid. Like, can we fish in lava? I can fish in honey. Well, I guess it's not in any liquid because the shimmer does not allow for fishing. Although, is it actually a liquid? Guys, I don't think this uh, honey fishing is working. Like, that bobber is not really moving. Maybe I just have to be a bit more patient. It's possible. But it's not looking great. Okay, do I need some sort of a special bait for it? Or maybe that potion that detects hooked fish? You know what, that actually may be the thing, because the bobber wouldn't really move much in honey, I suppose. So maybe I need a potion that tells me if I have a fish caught. Suppose it's possible. Yeah, this... Maybe I just need to recast. Wait, I think the bobber is in a different elevation now. I might just be imagining things though. I'm gonna very carefully watch it. For any sort of small movement, but... Uh, yeah, I don't see it moving at all. So maybe this whole honey fishing thing was... Uh, it's a bit of a... Bait. You know, bait fishing? Okay. I'm going out and I'm catching that dirt fish. I'm not leaving out of here without anything. Like, I came here, I'm either getting a fish out of honey or I'm getting a dirt fish. I'm not settling for nothing. So, that dirt fish better have uh, decided to show up because I'm coming. I've got my 10 pieces of bait. And I'm about to get a dirt fish. There we go, a dirtling in the water. That absolutely guarantees that there is a dirt fish nearby. And that dirt fish is about to show up right now. 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 Okay, third time's the charm and it's a tin can. Man, who threw so many boots and tin cans in the jungle? Like, who, who even comes here with tin cans? Like, this is a jungle. Oh, every, everything that's in a tin can will kind of like spoil away pretty quickly, I'm pretty sure, in the jungle. I mean, I suppose it should be properly sealed, but jungles tend to be hot, you know? So... Okay, this is getting a bit ridiculous. How have I caught so many buses and not a single dirtfish? Like, it must be there. It's, it's waiting for me. Like, do I need to switch my fishing location? Maybe he just doesn't like this place. But uh, that's pretty much the deepest body of water I have. Okay. We're going to try deeper fishing, like right there. Maybe that will change my odds a bit. And... The next fish we catch is... The dirt fish, come on. Any second now. Come on. I don't know why, but like... Real life fishing is like really calming. You just chill there, wait for something to happen. Nothing happens for like three hours. And you're just chilling. But for some reason, whenever I'm fishing in a video game, I cannot wait for the next catch. Like, it might take 10 seconds, but I'm getting impatient. Come on. Get it out. And... Stop giving me shoes, man! Is there like a mass grave under this lake or something? Where are all these shoes coming from? Come on. Okay, this is this is ridiculous. There, there, there must be something going on there, under this lake. Like, there cannot be this many shoes in one place. So we're moving over to... Uh, to here. Yeah, we're catching a dirt fish in this thing. Uh, in this thing. There we go. Dirt fish is about to come out. I'm actually now realizing there was nothing biting at the honey because I was being too close. 
Just look, nothing is biting now. I think that might have been it actually. Okay, in that case uh, I think I'll give the honey a little revisit. See if we can get uh, something to cook. How am I looking on time by the way? Oh, we are already over time, okay. Uh, I do want to try the honey fishing though. It will be a little bit of a longer episode, but you have to forgive me. Let's go through the short way. There we go. And I need fish from further away. So maybe like fish from here or something. Throw it in. And let's see if we catch anything. That doesn't look great. How about I go over here? Something like this. Okay, this looks good. This has to be good, right? Come on. Is it maybe too shallow to fish? Suppose that's possible. Hmm. Yes, yeah, still doesn't seem like anything's biting. I guess it is possible that it is too shallow. Oh, did. Is it Bob? I was looking behind me. I heard some sort of a sound. Come on, man, just let me fish in peace. Okay, this is. You know what? Okay. Uh, I've had enough. I I'm going home. This is. Fishing doesn't like me. I got like nine buses, five tin cans, five old shoes. Like this is this is just insane. Like the seaweeds I get, right? We're fishing. What what is in this thing? Come on. No, that's what is in it? A journeyman bait. Cobalt. Okay, that's new. What can I do with cobalt? What does it uh, replace? Kevin, mind taking a look at this? Uh, where is it? Cobalt. Oh yeah, I suppose he will tell me that uh, I can use it to make ingots. Let's really quickly do that. Then see what those ingots are used for. And then we'll be ending the episode. So, crafting. Cobalt. Seems like we have an armor set. Doesn't seem too decent. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Not too great. Seems like that's like palladium quality. Alright, well, one last thing. I want to check my world's corruption status. What's uh, this about me having more bark than bite? I have absolutely zero clue what that means, but uh, let's uh, check our status. Okay, so the corruption is down to 19%. So we did pretty well last time, I would have to say. Uh, but uh, there is still more to be done. Okay, anyway. Hope you enjoyed the episode, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Until then.